One of the things I've been asked to talk about and demonstrate on the channel is the path of the cue ball once it leaves the object ball. Now obviously I can vary that path by the use of various spins, uh, side spin, screw, etc. But what I want to talk about is the basic trajectory of the white ball as it leaves the object ball without those spins. Now, if we relate back to your school days and think about Sir Isaac Newton, he's that fellow with his lump on the head when he discovered gravity. He also said one other thing. For every force in one direction, there is an equal and opposite force in the other direction. So if I've got a force hitting that red, I've got a force coming off that red, the momentum of the white ball will overcome that force, but not totally. So we get a swing effect off the red. Now a billiard player will know this automatically, but it's amazing how many snooker players do not know of the trajectory of the white. So if I play a half ball shot onto the red, the red will go over there in a straight line. The white will go towards that pocket and it's amazing how many snooker players feel that that cue ball will go in a straight line. It does not. And we'll demonstrate it to prove it. So if I strike this cue ball on its central axis, vertical axis, and I aim for the edge of the red with my cue, that will be a half ball aim. As I said, the red will go over there and the white will go towards the pocket. Watch the path, the trajectory of the white ball as it leaves the red. Obviously I can vary the amount of swing by the amount of the object ball that it, the cue ball actually strikes. So if I've got a half ball contact, I will get maximum swing. That swing is significantly reduced when it becomes a quarter ball contact. It's even more reduced with eighth of a ball contact. And then when we get to a very fine edge, all we get is a straight line. I can also vary the trajectory of the cue ball once it leaves the object ball by the various spins that I put on it. So if I put right hand side on this cue ball, still a half ball aim, the, this will act as check side and the cue ball will go through at a narrower angle. So again, here we are right hand side, still a half ball contact, Watch how the cue ball goes through at a slightly narrower angle. Snooker players can learn an awful lot by watching or playing the odd game of billiards. They learn more about the geometry of the snooker table, how to avoid in-offs, and also how to increase their positional play.